Hey, 30 Minute Marketers. In today's quick video, we're gonna be talking about Pretty Links, do a tutorial and talk about the page 404 error that we get sometimes when we create Pretty Links using the Pretty Links WordPress plugin. If you're new to the channel, I'm Gary Baker and I'm here to show you how to do more to market your message in less time. To do that, check out the link in the description in the pinned first comment for a simple and effective step-by-step -step blueprint that you can use to start your own online business today. Remember, it's not about faster, it's about focus. And today we're focused on getting the URLs and the links all set up inside of our blog and using pretty links to do that. So I'm gonna start with this simple example of the simple traffic blueprint review, which is a blog post. And up here you can see the complete URL, 30minutemarketing.net forward slash blog, forward slash simple, the simple traffic blueprint, review with the hyphens or the dashes along each word. And what I wanna do is I wanna shorten that and make it a quote unquote pretty link. So we'll hop over to the whiteboard real quick and you can see here in this example, you can see the long link, which is 30minutemarketing.net forward slash blog, forward slash the simple traffic blueprint review. And I wanna take that and transform that into something a little short, shorter, something a little prettier, 30minutemarketing.net forward slash STP hyphen review. So what I'm gonna do is simply copy this right here just for ease of use, and I'm gonna pop over to Pretty Links. And inside of Pretty Links, inside of your WordPress dashboard, you have the plugin right here, and you simply go down to Pretty Links and you click Add New. Or when you're on Pretty Links, you can click Add New up here at the top in the left-hand corner. Click Add New. And what you'll get here is the ability to add a new pretty link and you'll add a title here for ease of use. I'm just gonna make that the title. The target URL here is going to be the long URL or the original URL back to our whiteboard. So this is the target URL. This is the new URL that we're gonna add. And we just need this piece at the end, STP hyphen or dash review. So back to pretty links. Here you can see the pretty link. It provides one for you that you can use or you can designate your own, which again, we're going to use this one to make it a little prettier. And we're simply going to click update. That is going to publish that link in the background and provide us with a pretty link that you'll see right here. So there's our title. And then now here's our pretty link. We can simply copy this or you can click go to right here. So now if you were to go to 30minutemarketing.net forward slash STP hyphen review, it will take you to the blog post that use that same long URL. Again, this is the new pretty link and this is the original URL. So as you can see, we went to the complete URL where the blog post lives. I'll show you to you again, just for completeness. Right here, we'll go ahead and we'll type in 30minutemarketing.net forward slash STP hyphen review. And you can see there that pretty links will take that and it will redirect you to the full complete URL, which is the blog post. Now, some of the reasons you might see the 404 error is because you simply type the short URL in wrong. So if we were to leave out the hyphen right there and just type STB review, Pretty Links is going to try to redirect that, but it's not going to find it because it's the wrong URL. Therefore, oops, 404 error, the page you're looking for is missing. Now, when we go in and we edit our Pretty Link, Let's say we make an error on our target URL and we leave off the simple. And we just say simple traffic blueprint review, but the pretty link is correct. Go ahead and update that. So now when we open up a new tab and we go to 30 minute marketing.net forward slash STP hyphen review, and we type that in, we're gonna see that we're gonna get a 404 error message because the target URL of the pretty link is incorrect. And there you go, 404, oops, the page you're looking for seems to be missing. So really all it boils down to when you're creating your pretty link is to make sure that you have the target URL and the pretty link spelled correctly and exactly what you want it to be. Back to the whiteboard in our example, we have the long URL that we're trying to make short or pretty in this case with the pretty links plug in. If this video was helpful, go ahead, give me a thumbs up. Also, don't forget, check the link in the description, pin first comment for a simple and effective step-by-step -step blueprint that you can use to start your own online business today. 30-minute timer here on the end screen, click that. Subscribe to the channel, check out the next video here on the end screen, click that. We'll keep watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.